my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this neutral, smoky makeup look for Valentine's Day. I decided to go with something a little bit more neutral and smoky because I feel like every Valentine's Day, I always do either a red lip or pink on my eyes or something. And what really got me to also create this look was the fact that when I go on dates with Sebas, I never wear bold makeup. I usually just wear like a neutral eye because that's when I feel really pretty. I feel like I'm safe in these colors and I don't feel like it's so loud and bold. Don't get me wrong, I love a wild Valentine's Day makeup look. If you guys see my previous makeup look or any of my makeup looks, I love a cut crease, I love a heavy glam, but I really wanted to create something that I know that I would wear on Valentine's Day with Sebastian when we go out to eat, but also very like sexy and sultry. -ian. So I decided to go with this look, just neutral, all mattes, uh, glowy skin, glossy lip. I paired it with the red top because it's Valentine's Day, why not? But yeah, that is it for the intro. I really hope you guys love this look. I absolutely love it. I'm actually about to go out right now. I also got my nails done. I'm excited about it because I haven't had my nails done in so long. But I did dip powder and I'm really excited about it because I've never done dip and I did like a light pink. I did almond shape, which I've never done almond either. I'm always like a coffin long nail kind of girl, but I'm really excited to have my nails back because I was really trying to grow them out. My patience was like done. I couldn't handle it anymore. I hated like not being able to ever show my hands and feeling embarrassed about them, but I'm excited that they are back. And with them being back, that means you're gonna see a lot of this going on. <laughs> so if you guys wanna know how to get this look and you're excited about it, continue watching. So I'm gonna start off first with the KKW Beauty Concealer in the shade number nine and use this as my shadow base today. Shockingly, I'm trying something else, but I really love the color in this concealer. And with the shades I'm gonna be using, I think it's a perfect shade to use. I'm gonna take a nail, this big fluffy brush, and a little bit of my translucent powder and press it all over the eyelid to set it. I usually never set my eyelids, but with the concealer, I do prefer to set it just a little bit, which is why translucent powder is probably the best product to use for this. Now I'm gonna be going in with the Frankation palette that's part of the Desi X Katie collection with Dose of Colors. And I'm gonna be taking in this shade Necessary and applying this all over my crease and eyelid. It's gonna be one of the main colors on my eye. I'm gonna start this right in the middle of the eye where my eye socket's at, work it to the front, and then to the outer portion of my eye. I'm not really breaking out on the lid just yet, but I'm just kind of focusing this right out here. Also for the outer part of the eye, you guys, I normally V it out, but for this, I kind of want it to be more circular. I think it creates more of a softer approach on the eye. It just looks a little more natural. I'm now taking in the shade Churro and applying this all over my crease. And I'm just gonna be taking this with a smaller blending brush. This is a Smith 225. Kind of giving this a little more depth in this area as well. Taking this all the way to the front and then around. I'm gonna mix now a little bit of Necessary in there and kind of blend these two shades together and start pulling it up. I'm gonna go back into the shade Necessary as well as Basic and mix these two shades together. And I'm gonna press this all over the eyelid. It's gonna create like a really gorgeous shade. You don't have to mix them, but I kind of like the pop that both of them do. I just love how these two shades look. I'm gonna pop a little bit more basic in there, like right in the inner part of the eye. And I prefer doing this with a large brush like this, like it's flat, fluffy, but it's large and perfect for this area. So I like to just kind of pat it back and forth, kind of work it into the crease as well, and then right in here. I'm now gonna work into this color called Chen's right here, and I'm gonna be applying that to my lash line. Just to kind of guide it on the eyelid first. I'm now gonna work some of the shadow up. I'm kind of creating like a smoky shadow effect. I'm gonna go in now with the NARS Skin Deep Palette and I'm gonna be actually tapping into this dark brown shade right here. It's just a little deeper, just kind of what I wanted in this area. I'm not gonna take in this brush right here and I picked up a little bit of that shade and I'm gonna just go over it, kind of buff it out. I don't want it to be such a harsh line, which is why I decided to do a shadow in this area. I feel sometimes if you use like a liquid liner or a gel liner, it creates a whole different effect. So for this look, Kind of wanted it to be like a very like sultry, smoky eye. I don't know how to explain it, what I'm trying to explain to you guys. It just kind of creates a more realistic kind of effect. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner from Dose of Colors called Caviar. You guys, these eyeliners are so amazing. And I'm actually gonna roll this right on the lash line and go over directly that dark brown shade. I'm gonna work with this area and kind of go back and forth with it once the lashes go on, just in case I need to add any more. Next, Milani Highly Rated Mascara. Just gonna do a few coats on the lashes. Popping on these lashes in the style so extra Miami. They look like Miamis, they're just a little more extra, but they actually are, I feel, a little more wispier. Gives like a really nice pop to the eye. Oh, do you guys notice? 
I got nails. I did dip powder and I'm obsessed. I feel like I could do this now. <laughs> and it's been so long since I did my nails, but I couldn't do it anymore. Lashes are nice and done. I'm gonna go ahead and just sweep away a little bit of this fallout. Let's go ahead and back you guys up. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of primer. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I figured this would be perfect to use for a look like this. I want to stay hydrated, I want to stay glowy, and I really don't want to mattify the look I'm going with. I'm gonna actually apply this on with a foundation brush today. So I'm actually headed out to a Galentine's event. I'm actually pretty excited. It's my first year that I've attended those kind of, that I've attended Galentine's, and it's so cute. Something really fun to do with like your friends and next year I think I'm gonna have my own event that'd be so fun to host like a little party like that but I'm excited because it's like a fun like girls night out it's chill that's kind of what is going on today so for foundation I'm gonna be using this one from Huda Beauty and this is in the shade Tres Leches and I'm gonna be taking this in with a little kabuki brush this one is a little darker than my skin I always use my foundations about one to two shades darker I'm gonna work it on my ears too cuz it's not gonna match. But I really love the shade in this. The shade's really nice. It's like a nice golden undertone. The times I've worn this, I've noticed my makeup just looks really nice throughout the night. Really smooth, doesn't really come apart throughout the day. So guys, yesterday I vlogged for the first time in what has felt like a really long time. A very long time to be honest. I haven't vlogged in so long. Um, but I got a facial yesterday. And it was one of those days that I couldn't wear any makeup when I got home. So I decided let's just go ahead and do a vlog. We can have a busy day. And you guys, my vlog was lit. I think I have like literally like two hours of footage i don't even know i recorded as much as i could and i started cleaning out my beauty room i feel like once a year i do like a deep purge in here and i kind of go and i kind of get rid of a lot of stuff and i go through everything and reorganize and reorganizing to me re-inspires me every time re-inspires me to play with colors to try new things to, to really just get my mind in a whole new space and i ended up not finishing it was so long and i literally was up till four o'clock in the morning cleaning this room and i really was thinking to myself damn this is nuts like this is crazy the amount of makeup that I have and it reminded me of when I first started Instagram back in like 2000, I think 13 or 12, I really don't remember. I'm gonna go on my beauty blender really quickly and just kind of tap in some areas. Whoop. I really don't remember when I started it, but what I do remember is that for the longest time, I did not have a vanity. I did not have literally anywhere to put my makeup at. Like my creative space was on the floor in the corner of my bedroom at my mom's house and I would sit there and film Instagram lit videos with my phone and I had to stack it on books, turn it around and use it and with the mirror on this side to see what I was doing. And I edited everything off of an app called Photo, I think, no, no, not Photo, Video Shop. From there, that's kind of like where it all started. And I, I remember just really like one day dreaming of having you know, a whole vanity set up. Going through my Facebook and I found the photo of the first vanity that I ever owned and it was from Ikea. My dad and Sebastian actually set it up for me in my closet. It literally almost brought me to tears because I'm like, dang, I now have like a whole room dedicated to this. I'm here like at two o'clock in the morning cleaning this room, organizing makeup, like going through so much stuff. Like it literally inspired me so much. I. I, I almost cried guys, I really did. It made me feel just so great. So if you guys have been here with me through the beginning now or whenever, honestly, just thank you so much for supporting me. It like really like keeps me going. It's been so long and I can't believe like this is where I'm at. So, you know, being with me through this journey and really motivating and helping me get here. Like I, I really couldn't be here without any of you guys. So I'm, I'm truly grateful. I'm grateful every day. I'm going in with the KTW concealer in the shade number eight. I'm going in with a little bit of a darker shade today and I'm gonna brighten it up with this one. So I'm gonna take in now this little booty blender and go over it and then just kind of tap on top. Oh, I love the eyes right now. They look so good. I wanna know what your guys' Valentine plans are. Do you guys have any plans? Are you guys going on dates? Are you gonna do something with your girlfriend? Working, nothing. I wonder if you guys have any plans, if you guys have any cool stories on Valentine's Day, what happened to you, anything awesome. I like being a cheese mosa and I mean what everyone does and what everyone's into. I'm kind of like one color right now and I actually don't mind it. I think it looks really good, especially for this kind of look. I want it to be very bronze and glowy in this look. I'm gonna go in with this Real Technique brush and I picked up a little bit of that concealer again and I'm just gonna buff it out because I'm not trying to like do the eye that I normally do. I'm trying to figure it out and I need to go to like someone's makeup class or learn or if you guys know anyone that knows how to blend the edges out really good let me know because I would love to watch like a tutorial or attend a class or whatever. I'm now gonna go in with the shade number five and do a little bit of highlighting. So pretty much we concealed so we're not gonna take this like right in the cheek area. Actually I'm gonna go down the nose again a little bit on the sides. 
I always like to highlight the center of my face. That's the areas I really want to pop and stand out. I'm just gonna pounce the beauty blender just like right there. I'm gonna try not to V it out too much. Just allow it to like seamlessly blend into these shades on the side. And of course, the beauty blender is damp as well, guys. In case you're wondering, I always damp the beauty blender. I find it just to blend it out so nicely. Also, something else really exciting that I have coming up for you guys sometime this week or next week is a video on how we edit our Instagram photos. It's been very highly requested to do a video like that. Actually, I'm really excited because we want to share with you guys how to get those IG pictures down. Okay, guys, I'm going to go in now with a little bit of my Too Faced Born This Way Chestnut. I still find this to be in my top favorite concealers. I absolutely love the way this color is for contouring. Might not work for everyone's skin tone. They definitely have a lot of shades to choose from. If you guys are looking for like a contour concealer, it's so good. So one way I've been liking applying it on lately is just with a brush like this. I normally am the type to like either use the actual applicator or scoop it off and go with the brush. Sometimes I feel like I'm kind of just like making the process longer because I still have to blend it out with the bigger brush. So I started using it with the brush like this and it is literally so nice it's kind of just like a regular bronzer but what i like is that it's on a blending brush so it's kind of just blending everything out for me it creates like a nice shape to the cheeks all right so next i'm gonna go in and set my makeup we need to set everything down so we make sure everything is locked in place and i'm gonna go in with the hourglass loose powder i just started using it like the last month or so again and i love it i just feel like my skin looks flawless with it so what i like to do is just grab a little bit onto the palm of my hand and then with the actual hourglass brush i just kind of go and press everything on and go over the cheek area you guys i feel like alonia with this hair there's some girls that have really good heads for these kind of hairstyles so like i don't feel like i'm the one for that but there are some girls out there that literally have these like nice shaped heads they can just rock it i just don't get it Sorcery. I'm gonna also go in with the hourglass powder and do some baking. Right, so we're gonna go back in with that Just Colors eyeliner. So I'm just gonna roll this on my waterline all the way to the inner tear deck of my eye. This is honestly such a great eyeliner. When I first used it, I was impressed with how well it went on, but how dark it was and how it lasted and I actually had trouble taking this off. There's not very many eyeliners I have trouble taking off. It took like three cotton rounds to get it off. So some people might not like that. I personally don't mind that because I know when I was wearing it, it like lasted, it didn't move, it didn't budge. So if you're someone that likes a really good waterproof eyeliner, this is probably a really good one for you. All right, you guys, I actually think I kind of like the under eye bare like this. Like I never really do it. I'm going to add a little bit of color, but for the most part, I kind of want to keep it nude underneath and the only thing with these eyeliners that you have to remember to do is put the lid back on anytime you work with a retractable liner or one that is like almost like a gel like eyeliner they can dry out if you don't put the lids back on so be sure to remember that i'm gonna go back in now with the frankation palette i'm gonna pick up that shade necessary and chens i'm gonna mix them both together and i'm just going to go as close as i can just so there's a slight bit of transition you guys see what the difference it does it's kind of looking a little bit more smokier what i like actually doing too is Burning this kind of into the eyeliner so the eyeliner can kind of smudge into the shadow and it creates a third color in there this also prevents eyeliners from running too if you have any eyeliners that run but i just kind of like adding a little bit on there i'm going to pick up my brush and dust off the powder that's left over on the area just a few more products on the cheeks before we finish off the look we gotta go with some blush i've been like a real blush girl lately it just brings life to my face i'm gonna use this one from buxom this is mykonos this has probably been in the last like few videos of mine i just find this to be a really perfect coral shade i feel like this will look really good on most skin tones it doesn't have too much orange and it doesn't have too much pink it's like that perfect blend and what i like to do is just go in with the dual fiber brush actually i have three brushes i like to use for my blush these are the three that you probably will see me use in most videos. Sometimes I'll use another one if I'm just like lazy and I don't want to go find the other one. This is a Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush Balm. Highly recommend this brush if you are beginners to blush and you want to find like an easy brush to use because blush can be intimidating. My problem is if you go in with something like this for blush, it's going to give you the wrong effect. This is going to be way too big, so it's very important that you know which brushes to use for certain things. This is great if you are just new to the blush world, want to learn how to just get it on. And then I love this brush right here. This is a dual fiber brush. Love this because it creates a very airbrushed look, which is kind of like what I'm going for today. So I like to just work this on the apples and 
and just kind of work my way back and i feel like it adds like a perfect amount of color it's a really easy like application on this is kind of like always my go-to and this one is a little bit bigger but i love this one this is from lancome this is actually a cheek blush brush and what i like on this is that it's kind of a blend of this brush and maybe like this one together um this one's a little too like er, for a blush brush and this one of course is a little bit more softer so it's kind of like that perfect blend it just creates an easy and perfect application of the blush Going in with the Bay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm gonna go to just drench the skin up. We did do a lot of powders today. So. For highlight today, we're gonna be using this one from MAC. This is a Hyper Real Glow. And I got this one right here. There's Shimmer Peach Glow and Baby. Wait, I don't know if I'm saying that. I don't even know what I'm saying. Really gorgeous bronzy tan kind of shade. So that's kind of what I wanna do with my skin. Uh, as I mentioned, we're keeping it on that glowy side. So I'm gonna tap into these two right here and just do a nice highlight on my cheekbone. See what a highlight does? Pop in, it's blind in. So it kind of just creates like a nice finish to the skin. I'm gonna add some on my chin as well. I always add it to the forehead area. We cannot ever pass a forehead glow. Like a forehead glow is just something else. If you haven't done it yet, you're missing out. Definitely recommend doing it. I'm taking a small brush and just add a little highlight to the tip of my nose, just like right there. So after I apply the highlight, I always go back and set one more time. And it's pretty much just gonna melt those products together and again, make it look a little bit more realistic. It's not gonna look as powdery. Especially if you're wearing like a loose highlight, it's good to really set it in. So for my lip color, I decided to go with the nude shade. I'm wearing the red outfit tonight, so I figured it's gonna look really great against the red. I'm also going for a very bronzy look, so I feel like it's perfect. You could still do a red lip color with the red outfit. I'm just kind of in the mood for neutrals. I kind of was going for this whole like very neutral golden vibe. I really don't know what lip color I wanna do. I have a few out, like I really am loving this one from Natasha Denona, and I kind of wanted to pair it with like a nice gloss on top. And then I also have this one from Dose. This one's called Let's Cuddle. And then this one right here is Cork. So Cork's a little deeper. I think I'll still look really pretty. So I'm gonna start off first with a lighter lip liner and then deepen it up from there. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC Step Down first. I'm actually gonna go in with the lip liner Chocolate from LA Girl. It's a chocolate shade. I'm gonna go over Strip Down. Okay. Add it a little bit in the middle. I'm gonna do a contour look. I might cover it up anyways, but I kind of want to see how it looks. <laughs> I think I'm going to do Let's Cuddle from Dose. I feel like this will be a little better. I'm actually just going to use my finger. And now that I have nails on, I can like do this <laughs> on camera. And then for gloss, I'm going to be using this one from Pat McGrath. It's called Faux Real. It's a little sheer when it goes on. Some glosses are really opaque. And as much as I love really opaque products in general, sometimes for the gloss, I kind of want it to be a little bit on the sheer sides. All right, so that is it for this makeup tutorial. I'm gonna really quickly go and put on my top and show you guys how to bronze up the body. This is like the must thing you need to do for Valentine's if you're gonna be showing any kind of shoulder. It's definitely the icing to the makeup look. One second. All right, so I'm back with this top. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on. I'm not like convinced with it just yet, but we'll see. Anyways, so I'm gonna top off this area with this bronze glow oil from Soji Janeiro. And what I like to do with this is just apply it on with the brush. Sometimes if I'm in like a real rush and it's like I gotta go, got places to be, I'll just do it with my hands and call it a day. But for the most part, I just go with the brush. It immediately gives me like a really nice bronze color, but the glow on this is so insane. Like in the summer, this all over your legs, body, oh my God, it is unreal. The glow that it gives you. So I just like to add it kind of everywhere, <laughs> to be honest with you. And I always also add it right down here. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this more neutral glam I created for Valentine's Day. If you guys did, be sure to give me a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it. Be sure to also leave me a nice comment down below. Be sure to subscribe if you are not. Oh, one last thing, guys. Perfume. My favorite, as you guys know, is Sun's Hall 33 and Alien. This is, like, my absolute favorite. I get so many compliments. Men, women, kids, anybody. Like, I get so many compliments with this one. I hate the name. I don't like the bottle, but what's inside is what counts and can't judge a book by its cover because I used to judge this and be like, I will never buy that. So what I like to do is spray back here, right in this area. And the reason is because when you hug anybody, you hug your man, you know, or whoever, you just kind of go in, they're always going to smell right here. So always do it there. I always also do it on my shirt. So that is it, guys. I will see you on my next video. Take care.